right, let's get this started. Well, good evening, everyone. As you join the live, today we're going to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. I'm talking about work ethic. And I sent a poll out today just to get a feel of what you guys um, thought about. Hey, Sydney, what you guys thought about work ethic? And a lot of you responded in the negative in your network done or treadmill. Um, but that means something a little different. Hey, how you doing, Gary? That means a little something different than it actually came across. So I watch a lot of speaker videos, a lot of motivational things, and one of the people I've grown to grown very fond of is Will Smith. And if you look up some of his interviews, different sayings he has um, about work ethic, one of the things he always says is he's willing to die on the treadmill. Now what that means, and if I flesh it out a little bit more, he talks about a person may be more talented than him, may be stronger than him, may be better looking, may, you know, whatever. But if they they were to get on a treadmill, either two things would happen. The other person would get off first, or he's going to die on the treadmill. And that essentially means what he's talking about is work ethic. You may have natural talent or, or something over him in some different aspects, but you will never outwork him. Um, he has an insatiable work ethic. He's always up working, studying new things, learning new things, and just trying to always better himself. If you look at the hip hop preacher, Eric Thomas, one of his big things is you will not outwork me. You came from the other side of the strikes. You started out better in life. You may look better. You may be physically stronger, but you won't outwork him. He does several speaking engagements, and um, he may do 10 or night, and then he can. He says he still can go over and outspeak a lot of these speakers. So work ethic. I mean, if you look at a lot of the most successful people, Gary Vaynerchuk, Jeff Bezos, the, the work speaks for itself. They are tirelessly and never, seemingly never stopping um, them working. So what I want to press upon you today and for the remainder of your week is that if things are not going right or you kind of dull shorted and let's say, wait, what are you doing really to work on that? Are you just complaining about it? You're saying you don't want to, uh, I want to lose weight or I want to have a better figure. But are you working towards it? Oh, I want to be a superstar. Or I want to be an actor. I want to be a rapper. Are you taking acting classes? I want to be a producer. Have you made any beats? I want to be a rapper. What is your freestyle? You know, if you want to be a professional swimmer, but you're only in a pool once a week. Michael Phelps, before one of the Olympics, trained seven days a week. He was out working everywhere. Everybody always do six days a week. He did seven to show that he could outwork everyone. So I want to press upon, again, I'll say this, work at the, you really have to work at everything you do. When you get up in the morning, the work starts. You want to be successful at your career. Go to networking events, hand out your business card, do business deals, get practice, fail, but keep working. Never stop that desire to do better, to better yourself, and just to work. I want to give a special shout out to my boy, Anime Bay, who's flourishing on YouTube now. He's also working with Wale and Every Blue Moon Gaming. That content will be coming soon. Um, and just want to say thank you guys for supporting me. I know we switched days, but, I mean, the polls came out and the votes came in, and people started to be a better opportunity for to, what's going on, Mark? to have this 